Hello guys, this is Becca. I just turned off my little window unit. I meant to do that before I got started. I am here with my patriotic uh, theme. I am in a Facebook group. Um, it's called Sassy Crafting Sisters, I believe is the name of the Facebook group. And it's a diamond painting group, and their theme for this month is patriotic. And so, um, what I chose to do was to work on some keychains. I purchased some keychains uh, through, uh, I, I, I can't say, guys, what, what shop I ordered it from. I cannot remember, but it was five keychains. I did one on the 1st of July, and then I did one on the 4th of July, and then every Monday through the end, you know, to the end of July, I'm going to be working on one. So this one here is the one I'm going to work on today. Let me make sure we're in camera. Let me see what my dog is eating on. Macy, what you got? Okay, come here, you got a hair in your mouth. Okay. All right, guys. I have to keep a sharp eye on her because she is into everything. But hopefully that is in frame. <sighs> Looks like it's got a glare on it. I can't win for losing, guys. Can't win for losing. Okay. So, uh, I thought I would do a little whip and chat while I'm working on this. Let's see. Let me start out first and see if they have any number ones on here. Yes, they do. Okay. So, let me get my drills out. I thought I... Ooh. I thought I would do a little whipping chat. I don't need that many. I don't know why I poured that many out. Uh, I had asked on my community wall. I had asked, you know, it would help if I take the plastic off of it. Guys, I, I worry about myself. I really do. I get so, I want to do things so right and so good. Not have any mistakes and any things in my you know, bloopers in my videos, and my dog is just, she's a mess. I can't do nothing without her right here under me, bothering me. <laughs> my fault, I guess. I don't make her do different. <laughs> and sometimes I get so frustrated that I just can't even think right. I, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I do, I have, um, I have anxiety bad, and when anything like that, you know, seem like everything going wrong, then it frustrates me, and my anxiety starts rising, and then there, you know, then things really start messing up. But anyway, I wanted to do a whip and chat, and so on my community wall yesterday, and I might not have gave it enough of time, I should have put it earlier in the week, I don't know, even if... I don't know how YouTube works. I don't know if you get notifications when I uh, put something on my community wall. I don't know how that works. But anyway, I had asked that if there was any questions you wanted to ask me. Uh, you know, and I meant in crafting. We, we don't want to get too personal, but you know what I mean. Or you could ask me about my health and stuff like that. Uh for you to ask me there in the comments under that post that I put on my community wall and I would address the question in the whipping chat today well only one person I just looked a few minutes ago so only one person has commented uh, and asked me a question which was Sherry Sharon not Sherry Sharon Powell I think is her last name she is actually in, uh, well, I'm, 
I joined her Facebook group. Her Facebook group is, um, I could have told you if you hadn't asked. <laughs> like you ask. Uh, oh my goodness. I don't remember the name of her Facebook group, but I will put it in the description in case you would like to go check it out and maybe join. Um, but she is the uh, administrator of a Facebook group. And then the, the Sassy Crafty Sisters, Sassy Crafty Sisters, I think is the name of it. And I may be wrong on that too. But both of those links will be in the description below. Um, it's a, a set of twins. It's Debbie and Judy. And um, they are twins. And they went in together um, and made a group, created a group. And so um, they're the ones that's, that did the, um, the theme, the patriotic theme. Uh, but Sharon was the one that asked the question on my community wall. I get sidetracked, guys, and have to talk and get my mind back to what I was saying. <laughs> she asked a question. Now, all of that to say what her question was. <laughs> she asked me how I got started diamond painting. And, guys, I'm really embarrassed I really am. I'm, I'm embarrassed at the way that my mind is. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I can't remember things and, or think of things or I just really don't know. But to be honest, I cannot remember. Did I even say the question? She asked me how I got started diamond painting. I'm not sure I said the question. Guys, this, this video is a blooper all the way around. There ain't nothing but a big old blooper in this this video. <laughs> anyway, she asked the question of how I got started in uh, diamond painting. And I really cannot remember. You know, my the re I guess the one reason I can't remember... My younger sister gets me started on a lot of things, and then she doesn't continue in them. Uh, she'll mention them to me. She'll show them to me, talk about how fun it is and all that, and get me started in it, and then she's on her way. She don't do anything else with it. Uh, I am, in case you don't know, I am a reborn doll collector. And um, if you don't know what that is... Uh, Feel free to go check out my other YouTube channel. The link is always in the description. It is uh, Becca's Happy Place. I have that in the description. You can go check out my videos over on that channel. But my sister's the one that got me started in that. And then she's gone. She, what I mean, she's gone. She just... She has a reborn doll because I bought it for her and sent it to her. But she doesn't really do anything with it. She lets her granddaughter play with it. <laughs> but she gets me started in a lot of things by showing it to me. She might be interested at the time that she shows it to me. But then she don't stick with it. She don't stay interested in it. And then I'm hooked. But I really think, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not going to say absolutely positive. But if I'm not mistaken, I was just... You know, looking through different craft videos on YouTube. And a diamond painting video uh, popped up and I was, I watched it. If I'm not mistaken, guys. Uh, and the way I'm saying, the reason I'm saying this is I actually asked a friend of mine uh, that crafts also. Uh, she's here on YouTube. Uh, Miss Crafty Girl. 42 uh if you'd like to check her out she uh she's a family friend and you know we talk crafting and stuff together on texts and stuff and uh we're in a couple of facebook groups together and stuff like that i actually text her and ask her if she remembered how i got started diamond painting because 
I could not remember if it was Kathy, which is Miss Crafty Girl 42, that mentioned it to me. I could not remember if it was my sister that mentioned it to me or if I'd just come across the video. And so Kathy said that she thinks that I had just seen a video because I'm the one that actually got Kathy started um, diamond paintings, she says. So my mind, I just, I can't remember any of this. So I'm just going to say the way I started diamond painting is I come across the video of it uh, and I believe they put a link probably for you know, in their video, and I checked it out, and I think that's the way I got started, but just don't hold me to that. <laughs> that's terrible, guys. Just don't hold me to it, because I am not 100% sure. I know, I, it's terrible. But like I said, my younger sister, she gets me into so many things, and it's just hard for me to remember. Was it her that got me started? Did I just come across it? How did I get started? But nonetheless, I love diamond painting. But I'm not just a diamond painter. Um, at this point, I am just a colorist and a diamond painter. <laughs> I color in the adult coloring books and... Uh, which, you know, if you've been following my channel, then you know, um, you know, you've seen my coloring pages that I've put up. But, uh, you know, I used to color as a kid all the time. Uh, I loved coloring. Uh, coloring is what I did whenever I, uh, played hooky from school and what I mean by that is I would tell mom I didn't feel good and did, was sick and couldn't go to school and and most of the time mama would tell us you tell me you know that well if if you're too sick to go to school you're too sick to play so go get in the bed and you got to stay in the bed all day long well she always let us you know color or read books in the bed so I'd go crawl in bed, I'd go grab my coloring book and colors and then crawl in the bed. And I'd sit there in the bed and color all day long and then love it and enjoy it. And then when it got about 3.30 when the bus passed, I could get out of bed. She always let us out of bed then. <laughs> or let me. I don't recall her doing the other girls that way. And what I mean by that is I don't remember my older sister ever doing that. She was always faithful to go to school. She didn't just... You know, tell Mama she didn't feel good because she didn't want to go to school. Um, and then my younger sister just didn't go to school. <laughs> she just didn't. She just didn't go to school. And she didn't have to go. Uh, I won't go into that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I would sit in color. And I had a coloring book. And then a friend of mine... Uh, gifted me two coloring books and um, I had them and but I wasn't just coloring like I do now until I came across a video that um, of a friend of mine on uh, or I might have met her through the coloring I can't really even remember how I met her she's an online YouTube friend um, I might have met her through the coloring. I've seen her, one of her videos. I can't even remember now, guys. That's, that's nothing unusual. Y'all know my mind. I can't remember nothing. But anyway, um, she was doing a lot of buddy coloring. And I come across the buddy coloring, uh, videos. And so I started purchasing more coloring books and coloring more and participating in buddy colorings. And then it went from there that I started doing challenges and uh, coloring events. I, not that I made up myself, but, you know, doing other people, participating in other people's challenges and um, 
scavenger hunts and treasure hunts for, you know, all dealing with the coloring books. And so that's what got me started really big into coloring as much as I color now. I used to, uh, I started my YouTube channel back in 2012. And um, I started out my channel as a crafty channel. And I um, only had the one channel because I didn't start collecting Reborns until 2018. But um, I started my craft channel back in 2012. And you won't find videos on my channel back that far, which this is the same channel I had back then. And I'll tell you that, that that may have to be told in another video because I can't let this video be too long or I won't be able to get it up. But uh, anyway, I started my craft channel out with scrapbooking. And uh, I, my younger sister got me into scrapbooking and then she went off onto something else and didn't scrapbook. Uh, she's done very little scrapbooking, but she's got me started in it. And I was hooked for years in scrapbooking and just past couple of years ago stopped scrapbooking. But anyway, uh, and that'll be another story for another video, but <laughs> I can't let my videos be too long or I can't get them up. I have very slow, I live out in the country and I, our internet's not that, that good. I, and if I have a long video, it takes two or three days, to, literally takes two or three days to get it uploaded or if I can get it uploaded at all. So I have to kind of keep my videos uh, short, at least under 20 minutes. And let me check right now and see. Okay, guys, it's already 17 minutes. But anyway, I started out my craft channel um, scrapbooking and I went from there to... Uh, I, start, I made cards, um, then I picked up uh, altering items, and um, I tried my hand at doing journals, but that just, I don't know, journals just wasn't my thing. I just couldn't seem to, I've made several, but I just really couldn't seem to get involved in that. I don't know, just wasn't my thing. Um, then I... Um, I've even done uh, glue booking, um, which I've done several glue booking pages, you know, and I participated in different events and different things, you know, concerning glue booking, but that really didn't stick with me either. I just, I don't know, it just wasn't my thing. No, scrapbooking was my thing for years. I loved it. Um, but then I found the diamond painting, and so now all I do on my channel, all I do, period, whether it's on my channel or not, all I do is diamond painting and um, coloring in the adult coloring books. So that is what you will see on my channel. And like I said, Sharon, I cannot remember 100% sure, but I think I came across a diamond painting video is how I got started in diamond painting. But guys, uh, like I said, I can't let my video be that long. Uh, I want to pause it and I will finish my project here. And then when I get it completed, I will come back on and show you and then we will end the video. All right, I'll be back in a second for you. Okay guys, I've got it complete. This is my little keychain. I put the, the little gold chain and hook on it, and it will hook on a keychain or, or a journal book or whatever you want to hook it on. Uh, this is a little gnome, in case you can't really tell what it is. This is his patriotic hat. He has a pair of sunglasses up on the, on his, the rim of his hat. This is his little face. That right there is his nose. Uh, this is his hands out to the side. He's holding a banner that says USA. This is, here is the bottom part of his outfit, and that's his little feet. So that's the little gnome. They're all, all five of them are gnomes, patriotic gnomes. 
and I thought I'm going to keep one myself and I thought they would be good for gifts and I have never done like a small project like this and I wanted to try it so I thought this would be the perfect time to try it is for the patriotic theme uh, from the Facebook group Sassy Crafting Sisters and that is my project for today sorry I have to be in a hurry with my videos but I thought I do want to say I thought maybe what I would do is come on on Mondays on a live uh, do it live because I can do lives sometimes they may be a little sketchy like they're gonna go kind of go in and out like they're gonna cut off but they've never cut completely off on me before and I can make a longer video doing a live so I thought maybe I would do that I know most of you work and probably wouldn't meet with me you know when I could come on because I never know exactly the time I can come on anyway um, with my health and different things going on um, but just come on and do it live but do it like it's just a regular video not necessarily worry about anybody coming on at that particular time and chatting but if you happen to see me when i do come on and want to chat that would be great also but i thought i would just do it live each monday do my wit and chat whip and chat live that way i can do it longer talk more um and again i i realize it was kind of a fast I just put up the question on my community page uh, yesterday about you asking me questions for me to answer um, I realized that was too quick and some of you may not have ever seen it and I don't know YouTube may not notify you that I've put anything on the community wall I don't know how that works but anyway I wanted to say real quick and I gotta hurry but I wanted to say real quick that if you have any questions you want to ask me about crafting um, you know my health whatever you know in reasonable you know you want it to be reasonable um, just go to my community wall find that post where I ask you you know to leave uh, your comments questions there and I will write them down I've already answered Sharon's I hope I answered it <laughs> good enough I'm sorry I just that I just cannot bring it to mind exactly how I started in diamond painting but I'm pretty sure it was seeing a video on YouTube but um just go there and post your questions I will write them down and um I will do my best to answer them on Mondays when I do my whip, whip and chat. <clears throat> whip and chat. If you're new and don't know what a whip is, it's all capital letters W I P, which stands for work in progress. In other words, I'll be working on my prop my project while I'm talking to you. Excuse me, guys. So I'll be working on my project while I'm talking to you. So therefore, it's called a whip and chat. Okay, so just go to my community page. Leave your uh, questions that you would like to know the answers to about me, my crafting, whatever. Um, you know, as long as it's not too personal. And um, I will do my best to answer them when I do a whip and chat. And I'm going to try to do the live whip and chat every Monday. So y'all be looking for that. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will talk with you later. Bye.